for most believers in the Western Church, having a heart for Israel doesn't feature among our top priorities. Yet, according to the Bible, it should do. I believe that the Bible does tell us that every Christian believer needs to care about Israel and be involved with her in some way. And I'm going to give you 12 biblical reasons why that is. Why Care for Israel is a unique course of six sessions that can be watched by yourself or discussed in a small group. Each episode is filled with exciting stories, video clips, historical facts and biblical reasoning to help you to learn about the history of God's chosen people. The Poland-Lithuania Commonwealth becomes a haven for Jews from Western Europe. In the 17th century, the region hosts more than 300,000 or about half of the Jews in the world. But everything changed in 1648. In May 1948, the local Arab population was joined by seven Arab countries in a collective attempt to destroy the newly re-established Jewish state. Did you know that it was the Christian church that has led the persecution of Jewish people throughout history? Over 30,000 were burned at the stake in Spain during the days of the Inquisition. And so that's the way that the church spread the Christian gospel to the Jewish people. The British are often proud of their history. But did you know that Britain played a leading role in opposing the foundation of the State of Israel? The British set up concentration camps in the war that we put Jewish people in. They put them in detention camps like this one, exactly the same as the Germans, surrounded by barbed wire with watchtowers, guards with guns. Yet reading the story of the founding of Israel is like reading something out of the Bible. In the morning, five soldiers of us were in front of the Zion mountain and thousands of Arabs started a counter-attack to the Zion mountain. And the Arabs that felt that there are no more shooting, they started yelling, Itbach the Yahud kills the Jews, and started running towards this emplacement. And suddenly, they heard the Arabs yelling, Ibrahim, Ibrahim, Ibrahim! Abraham, 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 and Abraham. And running away. They have no idea what happened. God has been working in an amazing way to establish the land of Israel and to shape it into the nation that he wants it to be. A Lithuanian Jew, Ben Yehuda was just 12 years old when he had what he described as a vision. He said light flashed across the sky and a voice spoke three times the words, the land and the language. Somehow he understood his vision to be a life's calling for him to restore Hebrew to a common language in the land of the Bible. Anashim in a second effort to rescue the Jews of Ethiopia called Operation Solomon, a dramatic airlift secretly negotiated with their government, 15,000 Jews, almost all of those remaining in Ethiopia, were airlifted to Israel on 41 flights carried out in less than 30 hours in May 1991. I grew up with one dream, not to get education, not to be doctor, not to be lawyer. Just one dream, to get to Jerusalem one day. Today, Israel is still locked in conflict. Sir Alexander Galloway, a former director of the UN Refugee Agency in Jordan, gave the reason for this discrimination. Quote, The Arab nations do not want to solve the Arab refugee problem. They want to keep it as an open sore, as a weapon against Israel. Yet God is moving in an amazing way. I grew up in the Jewish people. When we לוקחים אותו לפינה, חותכים לו את הפאות, ואת החוטים האלה שירדו למוקרל החולצות, והכיפה היינו זורקים ומעיפים. זה לפגוע בכבוד שלהם, לתת להם להרגיש את מה שההורים והמשפחה שלי הרגישו. This is not a person who's a renegade to our people. This is the one who was promised in our Bible. נפלתי על הברכיים, אמרתי, אלוהים, אם זה אמיתי, אתה תוציא לי את כל מה שאתה רוצה מהלב שלי. אחרי שזה יצא, אני הרגשתי כל כך נוח, הרגשתי כל כך שלום, הרגשתי כל כך מלא אהבה. Are you willing to partner with God 
and to care for Israel?